research is human-robot interaction and human interaction with autonomous systems. And I focus on uh, trying to harness the strengths of people and robots working together in safety-critical and time-critical applications. And um, what I look at is how we can change the planning of these systems, how we plan for their deployments, as well as how they plan to move and act and make decisions in the world, so that we can change this planning behavior so that these systems better integrate to work in teams with people uh, in applications such as manufacturing and disaster response. A lot of our current research is in manufacturing and how we can integrate robots to work with people on factory floors to build commercial airplanes, to do final assembly of cars, as well as build smaller assemblies such as electronics. The automotive industry is an example of an industry that's uh, very successfully deployed industrial robots, but even in automotive assembly, final assembly is still primarily manual. Building large commercial aircraft is still primarily manual. Um, building electronics, it's the same. And, um, and uh, there's a number of different reasons across these different areas, but one of the challenges is that when we walk into factories today, uh, the, the robots and the people are kept very separate. So one side is all robots, they're caged, and the other side is all of the manual work. And what I find very exciting about the manufacturing work is that this paradigm is changing and factories of the near future are going to look very different than the factories we see today. We're beginning to see uh, safety standards and technical specifications to put some of these large, dangerous industrial robots onto mobile bases and rails so that they can move and work in the same space as people. And we're also seeing new types of industrial robots, which are being called inherently human safe. So uh, the Baxter is an example of this. ABB has a, a robot they call Frida. Uh, and these robots are, are basically made so that if they hit a person, that they don't significantly harm that person. So uh, in both these cases, we, we can use older robots, these more traditional robots without cages. We have these new robot systems that can now kind of work elbow to elbow with people. And what we're interested in is how we program these systems. How do we task them in a, in a very dynamic environment? Because wherever you have people, that's now a very dynamic environment. And how do we program them to work in teams? 